Settling in is the starter for Temple. Gets some pressure. Now he's going to move to the outside on his feet, and he is upended. Clipped by Brian Cook. <laughs> if you like speed, you're going to like this Bearcats defense. It is absolutely all over the field. Here's Mathis, who's a great runner. Ford in the backfield. We'll play fake to him. Ritter sets up, throws to a wide open Alec Pierce at midfield. Boy, that was way too easy. And just like that, they're in plus territory. You mentioned that was way too easy. I mean, Alec Pierce last week exploded 144 yards against Notre Dame. Trey Tucker, again, just another one of those weapons. After the 21-yard pickup, Ritter striking to the end zone incomplete. Intended for Tucker for Temple, and I think that's where the Bearcats think they can have an advantage, especially with Alec Pierce going 6-3. They had a couple of tight ends, 6-4, six, 6-5, six, but that was opening series. Ritter staying clean in the pocket. Now moving to his left, still looking to the end zone. Now in trouble, and he's going to be swallowed up. He still trusts this guy. He'll come out for a 30-yard attempt and bangs it home. Crowd showing its appreciation. Second and six, Ritter to the end zone, looking for Pierce. Did he hang on? Yes. Touchdown. What a grab. Fighting through the defense of Cameron Ruiz. And Cincinnati's got its first touchdown tonight. Turns into points for the Bearcats. And I really believe there was another play call, but Ritter looks outside and says, oh, my six foot three dynamic wide receiver is single covered against a smaller guy, I'm going to throw it to him. Puts the ball in a perfect spot. And you see, he just knows how to play the wide re receiver position. And a nice ball by Ritter. Touchdown, Bearcats. Mathis needs the 46-yard line. Pocket collapsing, able to get out of trouble. And not for long. Dumped by Wilson Huber. In Luke Pickle's first year here, a major four-star recruit they landed that really started this train rolling. Now Ford right up the middle into the end zone touchdown. Just ping-ponging his way in off of Owl's tacklers, second touchdown of the night. And Clay's so good in small spaces. Again, there's no lead blocker. He just kind of weaves his way through, gets behind that. Semifinals for the Campbell Trophy, the academic Heisman. Mathis trying to keep this play alive. Comes back over the middle of the field and finds Anderson. Yeah, every quarterback coach in the country will tell you, never the late throw across your body over the middle. But when you got an arm like Mathis, you can get it done. Good job, Ahmad Anderson, just kind of settling down in open space. Make Mathis uncomfortable. The redshirt freshman looking at a third and nine. Here comes the pressure, and he is knocked down. Ball is loose. And who's got a temple able to recover it? But here comes that Cincinnati speed on defense again. Field goal range. It looks like it's just, it's just a tremendous rush. Maje Sanders coming from the right side, then Beavers. His season and career long is 47. Out of the hold of Adam Berry. And it's knuckling toward the goal post. He got it! <laughs> Rory Bell. This Temple defense has been on its heels all night so quickly. The Bearcats get to the halfway point of the field. Now Ritter going to run inside the 40, down at the 38-yard line. In years past, that was a big part of his game. This year, he doesn't do it as much, which I think almost helps, because then when it does happen to come up, you're shocked by it. He's got deceptive. He's going to be all right. Tyler Scott in motion. Here's Ritter. Toward the end zone. Incomplete. Come up with the catch. And that was actually a beautiful ball by Des Ritter. Put it way up high. But they're starting to settle in now. Man coverage for the Bearcats here. And now Mathis in trouble, and he's going to be sacked. Malik Van. Of the half was their best one. Hopefully they can capitalize. They're going to start with Ford. And look at him go. You talked about the big one in the Peach Bowl. This is a big one, too. And it's going to go all the way to the house on the first play from scrimmage here in the third quarter. 75 yards for Jerome Ford. Well, how about giving it the ball to your big time tailback here? And just the presence of mind, look, the vision, little jump cut to the outside, and then you see the speed.
He's not just a five, six yard guy. Alec Pierce goes in motion. He's got five catches tonight, 60 yards and a touchdown. Ritter's going to go to the other side of the field. That's a completion. Tyler Scott loose inside the 10. Nice cutback to the end zone, and that's a touchdown. 38 yard catch and run for Tyler Scott. That extra point to go through. And it's big plays that are the backbreaker in college football. And if you're a wide receiver, the difference between the good ones and the great ones are the ones that can make something happen after the catch. Should be a short tackle, and then the dead leg in the open field, the cut back and punching it in. And Tyler Scott, we've talked about the weapons Des Ritter, Des Ritter has. And here comes Tyler Scott, another big time play. Road to the playoff. Goes Anderson in motion on second and seven. Doing a pirouette in the backfield and now running out of time is Mathis. He is sacked by DeBlanco. Yeah, that just looked out of sync in the backfield for Mathis in this Temple offense. Sports fan base here, right? It's been 1988 since the Bengals been to the playoffs and been to the Super Bowl. They sense this Bearcats team is a team that could do something. Yeah, Alec Pierce has been doing something all season long, and he gets it inside the three. He makes catches when there's coverage on him, and he has a knack of getting open. Looked like he stepped out of bounds there, though. Ritter's going to try to push the envelope here. Yeah, they're wise to snap it quickly. Yeah, they get job. it to McClellan. This is going to stand up, and it's going to result in a touchdown. No reviewing it now. Charles McClellan gallops 28 yards to the house. Into a long run, but then Ritter gets that offense up to the line quick. The hand to McCollum, and he just did the rest. Straight up the middle, speed to the end zone, touchdown. And you like to think when his instincts, when his experience matches up with his instincts, boy, look out. Another Cincinnati guy. Pace off his back foot. This is going to be picked off. Kobe Bryant with an over-the-shoulder Willie Mays-style interception in the red zone. And he brings it back out close to the 30-yard line. We'll see where they mark him out, but exception by Bryant. Looked like an outfielder. Yeah, it was a good job just to staying with it. And, and that's a hard thing to do. That ball is up in the night sky like that, Clay, can get lost. But it shows you the kind of player that Kobe Bryant is to keep his focus on it. But Product of LaSalle High School here in town. Ritter. There he is, Wiley, right down the seam. And he's upended at the 25-yard line. You called it. Six tight end. Get him involved, and Luke Fickle loves it. But again, he's he's a tight end, or he's a, he's a wide receiver playing tight end. Just a little skinny post. Throw it up high. To the bottom of your screen. Tucker and Young to the left side of the formation. Ritter to the end zone. Man wide open on a slant route. It is Michael Young, Jr., his first touchdown catch of the year. Transfer from Notre Dame. The end zone for the first time this season. And you're going to see the Temple safety start to cheat towards Alec Pierce's side. There's number three, and then boom. It opens it up to the offense's left for the touchdown. That's pretty scary stuff. Evan Prater running the Cincinnati offense. Ethan Wright, only four carries on the year coming into the night. Well, he's got his first touchdown. He rips off a 58-yard run to the end zone. Sophomore out of Akron, Ohio, getting some playing time here in the fourth quarter. He's putting some stuff on tape. Including a couple of MAC titles. So now Lynch sticking with Carey, whose brother was very fond of. Deshaun Pace getting into the backfield. One of the starters still in there for Cincinnati. A pop pass. And there's some room to run into Cincinnati territory for Nazir Burnett. To Ohio State has always had their number for the last however many years. Well, since Harbaugh's been. Yeah, playing well. Harbaugh's never beat him. Here's Justin Lynch doing what he can do very well. Use his feet. And he's going to scamper to the 10-yard line. Will Adams gives him a push out of bounds. That wasn't a great first half for Cincinnati. Got it together, though. And in the second half, they run away from Temple to win it. 52-3, to taking their conference opener.
and they run their home winning streak. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.